Today I'm sharing this simple, easy and cheap project, which is perfect for any kid's room. We are going to create a reading nook in this corner using rain gutters. It's one of my favorite hacks and I have been using them since my 10 year old was one. Rain gutters are super cheap to buy. For under $5, you can get 10 feet. Plus you need these, the hangers and the end caps and some screws. Now to install the shelves, first we need to figure out the configuration, spacing and the length of the shelves. Over the years, I have found that I'm able to go two studs apart, so about 32 inches, and still have the shelves stable enough to take the weight of the books. So you could go in those multiples. Now you do need two hangers for every shelf. So that means that the minimum length of your shelf is about 32 inches and you want to have a few inches on each side. So let's say the minimum length of a bookshelf is going to be about three feet. Now to install the shelves, I could line them up. I could stagger them. You could do any configuration you like, but the important part is that you hit at least two studs on each of the shelf. It is important to hit the studs and I will show you why when we install the hangers. To cut the rain gutters, I am going to use a simple handsaw and miter box. This is really inexpensive to buy. It was under $15 and you can also use it for cutting boards and molding, etc. if you don't have a power saw. I am making the shelves at about 42 inches, so I just measured and cut them out. Now the ends are going to be a bit rough, which can be easily fixed with some sandpaper. Step one is to find the studs. I used a stud finder for this, but I also used my tap test to confirm. Once the studs were marked, I measured the height at which I wanted each shelf and I used a level and a straight edge to mark where they met the studs. Then I just attach the hangers onto the studs with three inch screws. Now you might ask why can I not use drywall anchors if I don't hit the studs? The reason is that the hangers are such that the screws actually go in at an angle, but anchors would go in perpendicular to the wall, so you wouldn't be able to use them. Trust me, I have tried in the past. These are also perfect for renters because you're just using two screws on the wall per shelf and they can be easily patched up when you want to take them off. Once the hangers are in, I can easily clip the rain gutters to them and then attach the end caps to cover up those rough edges and give it a finished look. That's it. The front facing bookshelves are perfect for little kids so they can see the book covers. It only cost about $15 in materials for this entire set of shelves. In fact, I also added these over my daughter's bed so that she can keep her book and favorite toys next to her when she sleeps. 